Hi everyone, it's been a few weeks now I think I didn't upload any videos. We have a reason for that because I've been creating a class for Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is kind of like a like Udemy, it's like online course kind of thing. So I created an animation course on work cycles. If you want to check out the class, I'll be putting it in the description. So now let's begin with our class. So today we're going to be talking about uh, some rigs, some character rigs that I recommend. I've been using them for a few years now, maybe some of them are new and I just discovered them. And they're very well done. So let's start with the very first few rigs that you're going to start with if you're, if you're new to animation. Which is uh, the bouncing ball, the bouncing ball with tail, and the flower sack. Right? Let's go through them one at a time. Now here's my three guys here. Let's start with the bouncing ball. This. Now this ball rig is pretty standard. It's got uh, rotations. You can stretch all directions, you can scratch, stretch on the bottom, pretty basic rig. But what's special about this ball rig is that you can change the textures. And it's not very basic textures, it's actually very well done. So you can actually change it to like a football, a volleyball, basketball, tennis ball, golf ball. There's so many and bowling ball, this is amazing this rig with the textures. So that's number one. The second one, let's look at the squirrel rig. This is done by Animation Mentor, it's totally free. Um, it's very well done as you can see, the design is like so adorable. It's even got a mouth that you can animate with, like that. Huh, yeah, okay, that's how you open the mouth. It's very well done, the blend shapes are fantastic. It's done by Animation Mentor, so you can expect good things from them. So you can use this instead of your bouncing ball with tail, because it's kind of boring. This one, it's got a lot more character, I mean a lot more style to it. You can scratch, squash stretch, rotations. And it's got ears. So cute. So cute. Alright, so that's the ball with tail rig, which is a uh, squirrel. Now again, I'll be putting all this, the link to all these rigs in the description below. Most of them are free. Now this is the flower sack rig. Now I've been using this, I used this when, in, uh, when I first started my animation career. In 2009, I think. So what's good about this flower sack rig is that it's IK spine, not the crappy FK spine. I've been spoiled by the IK spine. So this IK spine, you can pretty much stretch and squash using the, your spine. And the blend shapes are very well done. So this is the torso and this is the uh, hips, you can call it. Look at the blend shape on that thing. So nice, so nice. It's got stretch. The arms as well, you can stretch. Or ears, I'm not sure what you call those things. I've used this before on one of my uh, practices. It's very good and very light, which is good. Now that's the basic rig, let's move on to the body mechanic rigs. Now on this body mechanic rig, um, this one is not free, sadly. But it's very good and it's well worth it. This is only 4 of the 12 characters, it's like one pack. So they're all different sizes, as you can see there's a buff dude, small and then medium sized male and then normal sized female. Uh, I think it's about 40 bucks for the US for this package of 12 different characters with 12 different body shapes. What I like about these, this rig is uh, it's very appealing, it's very basic looking. And it's got IK Spine, yeah IK Spine, love that. And it's very light as well but right now it's a bit laggy when I move it around because of the... Because I did not reference these characters in so it's creating this kind of lag. Yep, this is another rig that I recommend. Now, if you want a free option to this... Um, to a body mechanic rig. There's another rig by Animation Mentor, it's called Steward. Uh, what's good about this rig is that it's got IK spines, yeah! I always recommend the IK spine rigs because it's so much more convenient to animate just two controllers for your spine instead of, I think FK spines are usually for like four controllers and you have to control all four of those, it's pretty annoying and um, I got kind of spoiled using these IK spines. So this rig, uh, it's got the, all, all the basic things which is the FK arms, IK arms as well. You can even uh, change the resolutions for this rig. So this is on low right now, you can make it a proxy version, so it's lighter. You can make a high version or a low version depending on what your... It's even got eyes, so you can, you can kind of blink if you need to. It's got hair controllers, not necessary but you know just to add a little bit of touch if you like. And yeah stretchy, stretchy spine, stretchy arms. Most rigs nowadays, the com the new ones, they all have stretchy rigs and they're all IK spines. Good animation mentor, you can expect very good things from them too. Now on to the next rig, I call these guys the classics. 
Uh, this is what I grew up with uh, when I was animating. These two rigs are the ones that I use to practice a lot. Especially Norman. I think it's a very famous rig. Uh, this Norman rig is created by someone in Pixar. And Pixar used this rig for pretty much all their interns at that time. Right now they, they have much better rigs. They use their production rigs pretty much. But at that time when before uh, Pixar was huge, they used Norman rig for all their interns to practice with. Yes, Norman, very good. Let me show you why. Uh, the reason I like Norman is that it's very simple. It's not very heavy. Heavy. Because um, I hate heavy rig. The bad thing about a uh, Norman rig is that it's not IK spine. It's, a, it's an FK spine. So you have 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 different controllers you have to animate with. It's pretty annoying. I started off animating this way, but uh, my animation kind of techniques kind of change over the years. So I rather use an IK spine. Your workflow goes so much faster with IK spines. Now, normal rig, it's like I said, it's very light if you're looking for something like that. And you can customize this rig. I forgot how, but if you research, there is a way. Now, to the next rig, his competitor, so called competitor, is called Max Rig. This also, another very light rig that I like to use a lot. Now this rig has IK spine which is quite amazing for that time. That's why I like using it. And the face rig is very basic. You can get most of your animations from this. It doesn't have that very fine detail for if you're working on a feature film or something like that. But it gets the job done. You can make uh, just basic expressions and it's pretty stylized. So I, I kind of like that style. You got pupil. Boop, boop. Oh, yep, this one has uh, stretchy arms and legs as well. Yep, that's all for this rig. This too, good stuff. Alright, on to the next rig. These are the acting rigs. So far, the only one I tried out is Malcolm. Uh, the infamous Malcolm by Anim School. Anim School. Uh, this rig is a beast, I tell you. I can't believe it's free. Now, this rig has got um, a little picker. It comes with a little picker that you can select. Instead of having a bunch of controls, let me just show you how it looks like with all the controls. Look at that, this ridiculous too many. There's way too many controllers. It's a good thing that they have this picker. So you can just uh, select it from here and you can control your rig this way. This character has IK spine I believe. Yeah, it's got IK spine I think. Yeah, kind of IK spine. It's, it's, it's a weird blend. I'm still testing it out right now. Currently doing an animation with this character. It's got all the standard stuff, which is the IK, FK arms, I, the legs. It's got so many controllers and a lot of detailed ones like the breaking of the arm, things like that. This is a very detailed character. I mean, it's very, very well done. The blend shapes are fantastic. It's done by uh, DreamWorks people or Blue Sky, some one of those two. Um, pick because uh, Animation Mentor is done by mostly Pixar and Disney people. Disney people. Pixar and Disney people. Anim School is mostly DreamWorks, I think, or Blue Sky. And then there's uh, iAnimate, which is yeah, iAnimate and Anim School. These two are one of them is Blue Sky, one of them is DreamWorks. I forgot which one's which. So anyway, this rig is very good. There's also you have all these face controllers. Another fantastic thing about this rig is that you can customize all this uh, outfit, so you can change the hair. Look at this. There's all these different type of hairs that you could choose from. It's got beards as well. Not only that, you can change the clothes. That's insane. Look at that. You can change the clothes. You can even mix and match. Maybe you can have pants from here. Wait, no. Okay, let's... Yep, you can change it from here like this. And then you can just take something out from one another. So you can take the pants from here and then get the pants from here. That kind of thing. Mix and match. Or you can follow these templates that they already have for you. What? Why is this guy naked? That's weird. So this rig, it's very good. Another recommended rig I would like to give you for acting is this called Kayla. I forgot who is it developed by. Now, this is another very detailed, another very good detail rig. Blend shapes are really good. It's got IK spine. Mmm, good stuff. It's got IK spine. Look at that delicious IK spine. It's very well done. Now, the special thing about this rig is that you could change the age of this character. Pretty insane, isn't it? Let me show you how to do so. Now this is uh, the default one, which is 12 years old. It can go up to 18 years old, look at that. It just morphs like that. Oh, the youngest is 6. Okay, cool. So you can age it to 18 or youngest to 6 years old. It's insane. I've never seen rigs like this before. And I think they, it comes with a guy version as well. Sad thing about this rig is that you have to pay for it. I think it's about 20 US, 25 US. I forgot. Another very good rig. I recommend you check it out. Check it, check it, check. 
All right, the last one. It's a creature rig. Now, creature rigs are really hard to find. A good creature rig that is that's very hard to find and not ugly. I find a lot of creature rigs online, and they are just hard to look at. Now, the this T-Rex rig, I've done some animation on this. I think it's on my demo reel as well. It's very well done. It's free. There's another version where it has skin, uh, so it looks like an actual T-Rex, and it's got a realistic render and everything. But it costs a hundred USD for this rig, the, for the skin rig. So nah, I'll just stick with the free one. <laughs> but even you, you can get by with this, this free one, it's very good. It's light as well, so that's a good thing. Creature rigs are usually pretty heavy for some reason. It's got the standard um, IK, I mean FK, and IK spines. It's, it kind of stretches a bit. Oh, look at that. It stretches a bit. I think even the head does that. Yep, it does. If you're looking for a creature rig, I think this is good to try. Alright, that's all for this video. I'll be putting links for all these character rigs down in the description so you know where to get them. Uh, most of them are free, as you can see. I think only two of them are paid. Just to keep in mind, it's not really about the rig to create good animation. It's to a certain level it is, but it's mostly up to you and your practice how you take in all those critics and how you make changes to make that animation look nice, right? And that's all. I'll see you again next time. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll be giving a lot of animation tips. Bye-bye.